On this week's episode, we swim with pigs. We visit Nicolas Cage's Iguana Island. We drink some dollar store wine. We relax in the lazy river. And we go to a bar that opens your beer with a machete. Three, two, one. I'm Taylor Jackson. I travel and I take pictures. It's always been my dream to have a travel show, so one day I just woke up and did it. Welcome to the first episode of A Photographer In. Thank you so much for joining us and for supporting the dream of making this show happen. I am so happy that I spent the past year of my life traveling the world rather than using that money as a down payment on a house. And if I could pass along any advice after filming season one of the show, it should be that you should go out and make your dream happen, whatever it is. No one's gonna force you to build your dream job, but if you go out and build that job, it can become your life. So let's get to the swimming pigs. <laughs> Here they all come. Welcome to Exuma Bahamas, home of some of the most beautiful water anywhere in the world, and of course, the swimming pigs. Our Captain Ray says it's the redneck version of swimming with the dolphins. Lindsay and I saw the Swimming Pigs on a BuzzFeed top 10 list and immediately put it on our places to see. I think we booked the trip later that afternoon. To get to the Swimming Pigs, you have to fly into Exuma, Bahamas. It's about a 30 minute flight from Nassau. The team at Exuma Water Sports comes out here twice a day to feed the pigs. They feed them chicken hot dogs and scraps from the nearby Sandals Resort. And while the pigs are what got us hooked on coming here, Exuma has quickly become one of our favorite places in the world. This island started with four adult pigs, three ladies, and one male. The male's name is Lucky. A few months later, there were a fair number of piglets on the island, and they learned to swim just like their parents. The water around the islands here is so incredibly shallow and warm. This island is currently owned by Nicolas Cage and is inhabited only by iguanas. This is a true story. The island is for sale if you have a few million laying around though, so you can be a king or queen of the iguanas. I'm sure there's a reality show plot in there somewhere, hopefully it co-stars Nicolas Cage. When we were boating past one of the islands, Ray asked if anyone wanted to jump off one of the cliffs. I definitely said yes, and in my mind, there was some sort of staircase in the back of this island that was gonna take me right up to the top. Uh, once I got on the island, I realized that I actually had to scale the entire island in order to jump off it, and they are some of the sharpest and sketchiest rocks I've ever seen. This is why girls live longer, just so you know. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I was more afraid than he was, I think. <laughs> <laughs> You're alive! Yay! <laughs> there are so many amazing places for photos around here, and boat was certainly the best way to get around. We stopped at four or five other islands before we found one to set up an umbrella and drink our $6 bottle of wine from cups that we cut out of water bottles. We are resourceful alcoholics.
Leaving the last island, I saw what I considered to be the most interesting piece of land I'd seen all day. It was some sort of salty iceberg that divided the Caribbean Sea from the Atlantic Ocean. And these are some of my favorite photos from the trip. When we're in Exuma Bahamas, we always stay at a place called Augusta Bay. There are 16 rooms and we always request one of the top floor corner suites. It's family run and a three minute walk from the fish fry. And then it rained for five minutes. Then it was nice again. Everything here looks like a desktop screensaver. One of our favorite places to eat here is called Santana's. Johnny Depp and the cast of Pirates of the Caribbean spent some time here while filming, but they haven't been back in a while. Island propeller planes are maybe my favorite form of sketchy transportation that I've come across anywhere on the planet. We got in this one at 6 a.m. and we are now hurtling towards Nassau. Pretty clouds though. All right, I'm gonna stop here for a minute. Don't be fooled by this happy looking montage of Atlantis. My recommendation is to come here for the day, do not stay the night, ride the water slide, see the sharks, eat the overpriced french fries, and then get out. I mean it. I like the lazy river, it is a surprisingly active river, but my favorite part about the slides and the water rides here are listening to Leslie and Lindsay lose their mind every time that anything happens. If the touristiness of Atlantis is too much for you, try this place we found. It's called a stone's throw away. Our rooms came with relaxing hammocks and a beautiful view of the ocean. If you prefer something a little more intense, check out Tiki Bikini Hut. Tiki is the place you go if you want 200 drinks for $40. They actually have a limit of 200 drinks for their all you can drink afternoon package. For drinks, you can't really order anything specific. However, you can suggest ingredients that they may or may not include. Regardless of what you ask for, there is a 50% chance that they're gonna mix you a Bacardi Breezer and tequila inside a coconut. Also, their jerk chicken here is infinitely better than anything we had at Atlantis. It's actually one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. So come to this place. This place is good. Then we got in a cruise ship. To recap, the Swimming Pigs, awesome. Exuma, Augusta Bay, Santana's, amazing. Atlantis, pretty shit. Stone's Throwaway and Tiki Bikini Bar, Amazing. 
Thank you so much for watching the first episode of A Photographer In. I hope that's inspired you in some way to follow your dream, to make your dream happen. Start it today. Nobody's going to force you to do it. If you like any of the photos you've seen on this episode, they're all for sale at reasonable prices over at aphotographer.in.com. There are no crazy $55,000 prints. They all start at $30. Buy some for your mom for Mother's Day or for Christmas. Your mom loves the swimming pigs. Prints are how I'm paying to make this show happen, so it would mean a lot if you bought your mom that swimming pigs print. Or you can just send me money, that's cool too. I'll put your name on a shirt and wear it on the episode. For $300, I will just insert your Facebook profile photo into an episode for 10 seconds. I'm an independent show that's $50,000 in debt. Everything here is for sale. Some other ideas to get me out of debt. Do you need me to endorse your startup? Babysit your kids? Drive you to the mall? Cater your Thanksgiving? Remove spyware from your laptop? Teach you how to read? Paint your portrait oil on canvas? Play on your baseball team? Walk your dog? Clean your house? Do your laundry. I think that'd be funny. <laughs> On next week's episode, I travel to Iceland where I immediately break everything. First I break my camera. And doesn't actually display. Then I break the drone. Then I eat a hot dog. I would say that this is one of the best hot dogs of my life. And that's pretty much everything that I did in Iceland. Broke a bunch of expensive stuff and then I ate a hot dog.